Hey guys, so a couple of products that I got. I've tried in the past and some are new that I haven't tried. For example, the Master Corrector from Armani. A lot of people have talked about this and I'm really liking this. I'm adding this with my summer products. I will be repurchasing this if it does go empty, but a little goes a long way with this. You can just put a couple of little dots underneath your eyes and it spreads really really easy. This actually used to come in four different shades and now it only comes in two shades in pink and in orange. So the pink you would use like for dull skin uh, it corrects yellow and olive pigmentation. The orange targets olive and darker skin tones to conceal under eye circles, freckles, dark spots, hyperpigmentation which I have so I got the orange one and I'm really liking this for the summer normally I use of course the color corrector from Bobbi Brown now this is heavy and I prefer this in the winter so this is definitely a summer Another product. Another thing I got is the Laura Mercier cake liner this I haven't had before because I got the Clinique cake liner. I've showed this in a previous video and I actually don't like this. It doesn't work for me. Wet, you put it on. It's like a basic watercolor and hardly no pigmentation. So this one I'm not really liking. Another concealer that I got, this one is new. Well, this Bobbi Brown concealer came out not too long ago, I can't remember. It comes with a powder and a concealer. The problem I have with this again, of course, is the yellowness. Have to be careful if you put too much, you just look sick having yellow under eyes. You have to be really careful with this. This I wouldn't repurchase, but I still use it. It's okay, but I wouldn't repurchase this. A yellow concealer for me, for my skin type, it just doesn't work too good and I just noticed a difference like with the orange it just it looks a lot healthier or a pinkish one. Viva Glam Lady Gaga 2 a lipstick that almost looks like a concealer this would wash some people out if they wear this I tend to use this like with other colors but I really like this for the summer T. Leclerc this is a high-end French company this was actually established in 1881, I think it was. It's a real old French company. Meanwhile, they came out with tons of products. They have a whole cosmetic line, foundations, concealers, everything basically. The T stands for Theophil. Theophil Leclerc came out with these powders and a lot of women started buying them and that's how his company started growing. So he got famous through creating powders back then. Many makeup professional actresses and even models use the rice powder uh, from Leclerc. They're really nice. I don't have one here. It comes in 30 different shades. I got an eyeshadow duo from them that I really like. This is in the color 22 Prune Tender. And they're real silky powder, powdery shadows. And the reason I'm mentioning this for summer also is for the pink highlighter. I think in the summer using, especially when using like mauve colors, prunes, purples, it's always nicer to highlight with the pink color because they just mingle better together. It blends better together instead of using like um, Hush, Grain, or Mylar, which are just basically beige highlighters. And I think using a pink highlighter in the summer, it's just much more flattering. It just looks better when like when the sun hits you or something. This is the prune color. And they're nicely pigmented. The color is on the skin. It's a really, really nice mauve color. So I really love that. 
top of the line foundation for the summer the lasting silk UV foundation from Armani this is worth every penny I have to say it's an amazing foundation Armani has like what is it uh, um, five is it five yeah I think it's five different liquid foundations in all the two most popular is this one which is the lasting silk UV foundation this also has an SPF of 20 and the face fabric foundation which is this I only have a sample of this because I don't use this it's a good foundation okay I'll start out with this one a lot of guys use this this has like a micro fill technology not something like a tinted moisturizer but it is extremely sheer when you apply this I don't know what shade this is um, This is number four, actually. So this applies seamless, but it's really sheer. Okay, I put way too much again. This is really easy for layering. Um, like on the runway, a lot of times this is used like to boost the color or uh, to sculpt or highlight the complexion you can actually sculpt with this like really good so it's a really nice foundation if you're looking for like a really sheer coverage okay the other foundation is the luminous silk foundation which actually comes like in 26 different shades the bottle looks the like same as glass and this one don't be fooled by this you probably won't see this i'm not sure if this will show up there's glitter chunks in the glass, which I looked at the bottle, it nearly scared me. I was like, what is all this glitter in here? So I asked the lady at the counter and she said, no, it's only the glass that changed like the packaging. So, cause it looks kind of scary when you look at it, you actually think all the glitter chunks is in the foundation. So this is a water-based foundation. It's supposed to last up to 14 hours, which is a little exaggerated. But this one also extremely seamless. You can apply this with your fingers if you don't like using brushes. I never apply with my fingers. The only thing with this, it gets kind of nasty on here, but we all know the pump foundations. So that's normal. I'm in number seven actually and it just goes on like silk I mean like I said top of the line foundation especially now like being up in the 80s I mean once it hits the 90s no more liquid for me but like up to 80 85 I can still wear liquid the good thing about this is it's in high resistance makeup that means you can actually sweat with this. You know like when you run around and you feel your pores just open. This up. will not ruin it, I'm serious. Um, that's another reason why I like this. Of course I still use my MAC Pro Longwear and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, which I've mentioned before. But with those foundations, I feel like you feel them on the skin. And with this, you do not feel this on your skin. It's like a silk layer of nothing on your skin and you have medium coverage, I would say. It is buildable. And to my opinion, okay, I always said every foundation, I've mentioned that before, I don't care what kind of skin a person has my skin other people's skin i set every foundation with the appropriate powder for that person's skin type also for myself but this i would say is one of the few foundations that just doesn't look like a grease ball on your face if you don't set it with a powder it's a nice sheer satin glow it has but not greasy oily or anything good thing about the master corrector i guess i could demonstrate this you can actually mix any eye cream okay this is still my favorite extra eye repair cream from bobby brown i still use this even in the summer it depends you know what my eyes are like how many how dark the circles are or whatever 
but you can actually like just create a nice mixture of a color corrector, concealer, and eye cream, and then just pop that underneath your eyes. And then you can just add some concealer to that, and you just Okay, you just mix all that up. And then you can just place it right underneath your eye and it's just really, really nice. Nice coverage. You got the moisture from the eye cream, the color corrector to correct and a concealer to cover. This is usually how I do it when I have like really bad dark circles and I haven't slept or You're whatever. Looking for a good foundation, I definitely recommend the Armani Lasting Silk UV Foundation with an SPF of 20, which is also nice. Um, really exceptional, amazing foundation. Okay, and that was about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.